Do you know how to create a sticky navbar with smooth scrolling effect? And it will also activate the menu when you scroll to a specific section of the page. Let's add the navbar in our travel guide website template. First create a component as header. Then add the header tag and fix it position at the top of the page. Inside a nav, create an anchor and decorate it. On the next step, we should import the header component on our main page. Here it is. Here I'm using flex to put our anchor in the middle. All the menu items should be auto-generated. For that, I'm creating an array with all the menus. Now iterate the items using map function. Add our anchor inside the return. Then add the key and menu item. Here it is. Let's make a little adjustment with the gap. For smooth scrolling, I already added a scroll behavior as smooth inside the HTML on our globals.css file. It's working perfectly. Now I need to activate the menu item when the specific section comes into the viewport. For that I'm using use effect hook. Inside the options object add root as null which will represent the viewport. Then root margin should be 0 and threshold as 0.4. It helps to trigger the function when the section is 40% visible. Next I created an array instance of intersection observer. It helps to observe each section which enter or leave the viewpoint. Also need a state variable to assign the active section. If the section is intersecting, then section ID will be stored inside the active section. Using for each loop, assign all the section by its ID under the observation. At the end, return observer as disconnected. Everything should be rendered on the client side. If a particular section is active, then add the background color and shadow. Here we go. For mobile, I need to add a hamburger menu which will toggle the menu drop down. I need a SVG icon. You can get hundreds of free SVG icons from webgraphics.com. Link in the description. I need another state variable to toggle the menu. On click of the button, state will change. If toggle state is true, then add flex. 
on false state at the hidden but it will be visible till the small screen. On mobile view flex will be column. Let's make little adjustment on the gap. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.